How much do countries need to spend in infrastructure to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals and stay on track to limit climate change to two degrees? A new World Bank report explores thousands of possible ways countries can invest in their infrastructure between now and 2030. It finds that the cost depends on the ambition of their goals and the policies that are put in place to make sure all the money invested actually delivers reliable services for everyone. Let's explore one path with limited ambition. If developing countries choose to give rural populations access to just enough electricity to power light bulbs, if they restrain individual transport with high gasoline taxes, and if they provide access to just basic water and sanitation by 2030, we estimate they would need to spend about 2% of their GDP per year on new infrastructure. On the other hand, if developing countries get ambitious and provide high levels of electricity access to everyone, provide universal access to safe water and sanitation using sewerage systems with treatment, invest heavily in both rail and highways, then countries could end up spending 8% of their GDP every year on infrastructure. But ambition is not the only driver. Smart policies can cut the cost of ambitious paths in half. Electricity planners can smooth peak demand with smart meters and storage while they invest in renewable energy. With land use policies and dense cities, transport planners can make public transport more reliable and affordable. Water planners can provide universal access to safe water using new water purification systems powered by renewable energy in rural areas. Leaks can be reduced with new pipe technologies in cities. With these measures and proper maintenance, the average low- and middle-income country would only need to spend 4.5% of its GDP per year on new infrastructure. The report finds that low-carbon pathways can actually cost less than more polluting pathways and deliver better services. So how much countries need to invest in infrastructure depends on how ambitious and efficient they are. With better planning and policies, most countries can afford to stay on track to full decarbonisation and to achieve the Infrastructure Sustainable Development Goals.